Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Vivs from SlideNerd here. In this video, we are gonna continue our discussion of the different Android examples. We are gonna talk about how to install another app from your app in Android. Now remember one thing, all before you do this, ask the user's permission, otherwise he or she is gonna get pissed off and uninstall your app because people don't expect that. So you go to main activity, we will continue the same thing which we have been building in my previous video. So in this case, if you notice, go to activity underscore main, there is this launch market button here. You go to activity underscore main, there's a process that is being called as part of my launch market here, which is Android on click attribute. So inside my main activity, this process method will be called and I have an if condition to handle that scenario. So inside this, I'm gonna simply create an intent by saying intent Again, the same thing, Android content intent action view. I should probably have another string at the top that has this thing inbuilt. Now, next thing is about the URI. Now, the way you do this is something like this. There is this app, say, social engineering kit made by Dolphin developers right here. I'm going to select the URL over here, control C, and put this string inside. Now, of course, it doesn't work like this because this is a general HTTP URL. What we want is we want to remove all this, place a market here and put double slashes. Now this is a special type of URI that your Android system recognizes. It says market and this link over here that identifies the app you want to install. Again create the chooser here by saying chooser is intent.createChooser. If you remember very well, a chooser is nothing but a dialog that pops up lets you know what other applications you can work with so here you simply pass your intent and I will show you this in action don't worry I'm gonna just pass a string here I'm gonna say launch market at over here and start the activity for that particular chooser so at this point if I just select this click run at the top I'm running this on my phone and there you go so there is intents test and there's launch market now if I click launch market as you guys notice the chooser window pops up which is what we created here by saying intent.create chooser for this intent so it simply is a way of saying that who are the apps in the phone that can handle this market URI over here so there are two of them there's Google Play Store and there is something called mobile market I'm of course gonna take Google Play Store that's the first one here so at this point as you guys notice the app has popped up right here on screen I can decide what I want to do with this install or proceed further in any other way now this app by functionality lets you spoof anybody's email Facebook Twitter which is given in the description right down there so this is the way you can make the user directly go to some app and take a decision whether he or she wants to install it or not now if you press back over here it's gonna go back to your activity which contains this now next time if you click launch market Again, it's gonna give you the same option about the chooser and it will proceed from there. So in this video, we have talked about how to launch someone else's app from your app in Google Play. In the next video, we're gonna talk about email and we're gonna proceed further with other things that we can do. In the meantime, if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.